So, who's not been in a meeting before where some big bossy boots comes along, completely dominates the conversation and totally takes over, and some poor shrinking violet in the corner who has a really, really valuable contribution to make never gets heard? Well, if you recognize that, then you should consider team roles. Team roles are a way of making communication in a group far more effective. For instance, it's always useful to have a facilitator, someone who chairs the discussion, makes sure that all of the valid opinions are heard at the right time, and make sure all of the team feel included and motivated. It could also be useful to have a scribe, somebody who takes notes, writes down what's discussed in the conversation so you don't forget later. It can also be very useful to have a timekeeper, somebody who keeps an eye on the time, makes sure everyone is focused, they're not going off on tangents, and the job gets done in time. If you've got some important useful information to go and find, then you might want to have a researcher to go off and find that information and bring it back to the group rather than everyone going off and looking at the same thing. And if you have a particularly difficult challenge to solve, it might be worth having a puzzle solver, someone who's good at maths, for instance, that can solve the difficult puzzles without wasting everyone else's time. It could also be useful to have a spokesperson if your smaller team needs to report back to the bigger one. So when you come back together at the end, everyone isn't all talking at once, but you've just got the representatives from each group in order to have an informative discussion. Also, it may be worth considering having multiple roles within the team. So for instance, you might need more than one researcher or more than one puzzle solver if you have lots of information to get through or lots of puzzles to solve. It's also worth considering that you don't always need all of the roles. For instance, a facilitator is nearly always going to be useful to make sure that the conversation runs efficiently, and it's always a good idea to have an eye on the time to make sure that you stay focused, and it's probably also a very good idea to always have a scribe so you write down any information that was discussed. But do you always need a spokesperson, for instance? Or could the facilitator be the person who feeds back to the group at the end? Do you always need a researcher? Or can you work as a team within the group to find the information you need? And do you always need a puzzle solver? Well, only if there's a difficult puzzle to solve. So an element of common sense is needed when working in teams in this way. And also sometimes you might want to allocate multiple roles. For instance, if you've got lots of information to find, you may want every member of your team to be a researcher as well as the role that you have given them. So next time you're in a meeting, don't be a big old bossy boots and take over and dominate the conversation, but instead think about how to make everyone contribute in a valuable way by facilitating the discussion. Be organized, make sure everyone has their say, and hopefully you'll find that your next discussion is a very effective and happy one.